Do you want to be able to finally do a dive bomber push-up? Well, in this video, I'll cover the best exercises that you can use to build the strength that you'll need to do your first dive bomber push-up with perfect form. Hey there, Coach Tyler here, and today I'm excited because in this video, I'll go over the exact steps you'll need to take for phase three of our three phase series on how to do dive bomber push-ups. So if you skipped ahead to this video, make sure you go back to the videos that we already made that go over phases one and two, and those links are in the description below. Those two phases will help you build the necessary flexibility, coordination, and strength that you'll need to complete your first dive bomber push-up with perfect form. If you've already gone through the first five weeks that I went over in phases one and two, then this video will be the icing on the cake that will take you from where you're at to that first dive bummer pushup and beyond. Okay, for this last and final phase, I'm gonna break it down into two parts. First, I'll cover the exercise to use for week six that will prepare you for attempting your first dive bummer pushup. Just like in phase one and phase two, you should carve out five minutes a day to practice the exercise that I'll give you for week six. If you can do this every day, and even twice a day, if you're really dedicated, it will make a big difference on you really nailing that first rep of the dive bomber pushup at the end of this final week. Also, just like the other phases, during each practice session, your goal should be to perform one minute of work, followed by one minute of rest for three rounds on the exercise that I'll share with you in just a sec. Then, after that, for the second part, I'll go over how to approach your first dive bomber push-up and how to continue practicing if you still need to build more strength. Okay, without further ado, let's go over that last exercise for week six. Week six, Hindu push-ups. This exercise is called the Hindu push-up, and I think it's one of the best push-up variations for creating strength and flexibility at the same time. So, to start, come into a push-up position, Keep your hands active, squeeze the ground with your finger. Come into that full plank, squeeze your glutes. Now press your chest towards your thighs. Drop your heels towards the ground and get that big stretch. Now again, aim your nose towards right between your hands and bend your elbows. Once you get close to the ground, let that nose scrape up into the bottom of a push-up position and then extend the arms into that full up dog. Now from there, press your feet into the ground, squeeze your core, slowly come back through to that downward dog position. So again, making that circle. If you look at my head, here's the circle. Head comes up, head comes back and down, and it creates a giant circle as I practice this Hindu push-up. Inhale here, really driving the chest towards the thighs, bend the arms, straighten the arms, look up at the sky, and really focus on making sure you're doing all the movements right at the same time. Practice it slow and controlled, and then, when you're ready, I'm gonna show you how to approach your first dive bomber push. Okay, now that you know the last week's exercise, make sure you practice this exercise every day by doing one minute of work, followed by one minute of rest for three rounds. Then, after you've completed your last and final week by working on the Hindu push-up, it's time to try your first dive bomber push-up. So, let me share with you the best way for you to approach this. Hey, before I share the best way to approach the dive bomber pushup, I wanted to ask you for a really quick favor. If you enjoy this content and you wanna see more of it, hit the subscribe button and click that little bell icon so you get a notification every time we release a brand new video just like this. It helps us get noticed more and our videos will help you transform your body fast. Okay, let's now go over how to approach your first dive bomber pushup. How to approach your first dive bomber pushup. Okay, it's important to note that the dive bomber push-up is an advanced exercise, and you're trying to do your first dive bomber push-up with perfect form. So, you need to know that this is a max strength exercise. If I were to tell you to work up to your absolute max strength with a big barbell on your back in the squat, I wouldn't have you do that lightly. In fact, I'd wanna make sure that you understand some key things that you can do to make sure that you give yourself the best odds at being able to do this with perfect form. So to start, there's something called braced breathing. When you braced breathe, it means taking a big breath in as you go through the difficult parts of the exercise and exhaling as you're coming out of those difficult parts. I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. 
The next thing is gripping the ground with your fingers. I've talked about this over and over again, but your hands are vastly correlated to the rest of the muscles in your body. When you squeeze something tight, the rest of your muscles get tight. Try it right now. Make a tight fist and then make it tighter. What happens? Every time you squeeze tighter, another muscle tends to fire. And if you keep squeezing as hard as you can, eventually you'll feel the muscles of your legs fire to try and get your hand to squeeze tighter. So gripping the ground with your fingers is gonna make you stronger and make all of your joints more stable at the same time. The next piece is visualization. So I'm gonna walk you through a visualization and then I'm gonna show you how to approach that first dive of arm push-up right now. Start out with, come down on the ground and get ready for that first dive bomber push-up. From there, you can close your eyes and you can visualize yourself coming into the push-up position. As you come into that push-up position, squeeze the ground with your fingers. Push your butt up and back towards the downward dog position. Bend those elbows, take a huge inhale, and as you have to straighten those elbows, exhale, squeeze the ground even more. That's gonna be that braced breathing. From there, come down, back to that bottom of a push-up, Big breath in and then press your hands out back into the downward dog position. And that is going to get you that rep. Now open your eyes and let's try to make it happen. So squeeze the ground with your fingers. Plank position, squeeze the glutes. Come up to that downward dog position. Now focus on that braced breathing and that squeezing the ground as you go through the hard points, okay? So inhale as you go down, scrape your nose right past your hands, come through the bottom of that push up, and then exhale as you come up to the top. Now right here, inhale as you come down, and the hardest part is pressing your hands into the ground and coming all the way back up into that downward dog position. As you can see, the slow and controlled nature of this and going all the way down on each rep makes it very difficult to perform this exercise with perfect form. So focus on those things, slow and controlled, brace breathing, big breath in, squeeze the core, and then exhale as you're fully extending those arms on both positions both when pressing back to the downward dog and when extending the arms and looking up at the sky. Grip the grounds tight, and before you try your first rep, visualize yourself doing that rep with perfect form. When you do that, you're gonna teach your body how to do it. And that is how you do your first dive farmer push-up. Okay, regardless of whether or not you were able to do your first rep, let me show you a cool way that you can continue to work on the dive farmer push-up that will help you get more reps and help build even more strength so you can crank them out just like a Navy SEAL. Hey, before I share that cool way to keep practicing dive bombers, I wanted to mention that if you like the way that we break down these exercises into multiple levels, then you'll love the workouts that we send to our members at warriormade.com. And that's because we've broken down every single exercise that we use into several different levels. This way, you always have a clear roadmap to building the lean and strong body that you're after. In fact, we've created follow along workouts that use progression just like the ones you've seen in this dive bomber series to take you from where you're at to being able to do exercises like one-legged squats, grasshopper push-ups, V-ups, and more so you can build a body that moves as good as it looks. So to give our follow along scalable home workouts a try, just click the link below either now or after you finish this video and you can try it for free on me. Okay. Let's go over that cool way to practice the dive bomber push-up. All right, if you're still having a hard time being able to do dive bomber push-ups with perfect form, then it's likely that you need to gain a little bit more strength as you're coming down and up and as you're coming down and up on both positions. So I'm gonna show you an approach called the range of motion approach to getting better at dive bomber push-ups. So all you need is a stack of books, paper, anything that you can just take something off the top on and I'll show you how to do this, okay? So start by putting this down right between your hands in that push-up position. From there, you're gonna basically do the dive bomber push-up, but you're never gonna let yourself go below the stack in front of you. So a regular dive bomber push-up, I want my nose almost scraping the ground. When I put the books there, that makes this a little bit easier because I only have to come this far down to get my nose close to it. And then when I come up to the top, it's a little bit easier too. Same thing on the way back, bringing my nose down to the books. I'm in that plank position. I'm gonna press back up to the top. And so you can do any height you want. You can have the height be here, you can have the height be here. The big thing is practice slowly. You can work up to doing something like three sets of 10 reps with about a minute rest in between. And once you can do three sets of 10 reps, then all you do to make progress is you just take about an inch of the books off, you start back. You do the same thing again. As you can see, when you do that, it makes it a little bit harder. 
to be able to do because your range of motion is a little bit more. Especially, this is the hardest part, on the part where you press back up that downward dog position. And as you can see, we do this again and again, week after week. We slowly work our range of motion towards the ground. And so that's a great way to build strength in the dive bomber push-up while still being able to rehearse that exercise. So again, start tall, work your way down, three sets of 10 reps with one minute rest in between, and every week or so, take it down by about an inch. If you practice this consistently, I guarantee you're gonna have that first dive bomber push-up in no time flat. Okay, there you have it. A complete step-by-step, -step, three phase, six week routine that gives you the exact roadmap to follow to get your first dive bomber push-up. If you followed these three phases exactly as I showed you, then please leave a comment below and let me know how this worked for you. Were you able to do your first dive bomber push-up? Or what other exercises do you want me to break down into simple steps just like this one? In any case, we'd love to hear from you. Finally, you're probably wondering what's next, right? Well, since you like a challenge and you clearly like exercises that will make you tough as nails, the next thing to do is watch this video where I'll break down another Navy SEAL favorite exercise into eight different variations to work on. I'll leave the exercise a surprise, but it's safe to say that it pairs nicely with dive bomber push-ups. I'll see you there.